Hello and welcome to Balls Knowledge, where I get your favourite creators over three rounds of a quiz and see who comes out at the top, basically. And it's all for Prostate Cancer UK. So I'd like to say hello to today's guest, who is in the middle of eating a pot noodle at the moment. How are you doing, Luke? How's it I'm going? All right, mate. Yeah, you might hear a bit of background noise because my door's literally just gone as well. So, uh... fair enough. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, I'm all right, mate. Thanks for ever so much for asking yourself. Yeah, I'm I'm doing pretty well. Also, firmly in the middle of a work day, but it's been a fairly boring one, so nothing to complain about, to be honest with you. Yeah, no, nah, mine's, nice. mine's not too bad. I'm uh, just halfway through. Let's say, through my, can you hear that? A little bit, yeah, but that's all good. <laughs> <laughs> They're going mad at the door. Right, so guessing you know the general gist because you've seen the previous yep. like episodes and bits we have sure. round one which is the basics of league united we're just getting into sort of standard questions that are easy enough to deal with round two is ups and downs it's a higher or lower round which is a bunch of stats from leads now from leads in the past all sorts of bits and bobs just stats i've found interesting and i want to see if you have any idea about them and round three is the long list which is based on your specialist subject which i will get into in more detail in a little bit but before we dive into it, I've got a very, very quick question for you. Where do you feel like you are likely to come in the leaderboard? Uh, well, I, I'd, I'd like to, I'd like to say top, but um, realism is, mate. I've got a really poor memory, like of anything, like not just football. But I've got um, that noted down for your specialist. But don't worry. I've, yeah, I've I, I would. I, I'd like to beat Joe Wayman. I think. I think that's probably my goal. Uh, just, just for bragging rights more than anything. It's a good way to go about it. The amount of like bragging rights and discussion of grudge matches we've had recently is just <laughs> ridiculous. Uh, the leaderboard as it stands is Evie firmly on top still with 38 out of 40, Joe on 30 out of 40, Joe on 29, Gary Brandon also on 29. What sort of number are we thinking for you? If you um... Just crikey. Evie got 38 out of 40. Evie got 38 out of 40. I mean, yeah. I, I didn't I didn't I haven't watched Evie's back yet, so am I gonna have to there's gonna be a steward to inquire into them questions. Uh, <laughs> but um I, yeah, I'd like to get 30, I think. I think I think 75% is a good target for me. That's a that's a decent amount, yeah. I think when it was either Joe or Joe came on, they said I just want 50%. It's half, it's a passing grade, it'll do, sort of thing. Yeah. But, so, uh, in that case, if we're feeling ready, let's ready. dive into episode five of Balls Knowledge with round one, which is the basics. This is where you will pick up, ideally, a good few marks. If you don't, I don't think the rest of this is going to be very fun. <laughs> so, um, question number one, which I'd hope that you get right. Uh, under which manager did Leeds United last get promoted? Marcelo Bielsa. Marcelo Bielsa. There we go. That's 100% thus good far. Start. Could yeah, be we'll worse. We're now. all good. Uh, under which manager did Leeds United last get relegated? Sam Allardyce. Sam Allardyce. There we go. That one I put in because I was like, this feels like it could be a mean trick question. Like, yeah, it was. I mean, you could blame no blame one of a few managers for that, but it was actually Sam Allardyce who was in charge as we got relegated, yeah could also fairly easily blame Victor Orta. You need to change the name of your podcast to just purge him. Um, <laughs> but um, to the nearest 10,000, how many people fit in Elland Road? 40,000. 40,000 it is. And the current ownership of Leeds United sort of want to do up the stadium a bit, the San Francisco 49ers. What sport do they compete in? American football. American football. I did tell you it was the basics. This is this is Ooh. the nice bit. This is all good. Keep them like this, Joe. I'm all right. I might be on for 100% here. There we go. Um, another one that you might have some like personal link to. Uh, name Leeds United's director of football under Andrea Radrizzani. Director of football under Andrea Radrizzani. It's, it's not Angus, because Angus is the managing director i think or, or chief executive director of yeah. football surely that's victor Orta. that is victor Orta. that's why i mentioned they're having a little bit of a link thing i was like, absolutely cacked it there a bit i was like I, I, thought that... yeah I, I was a bit spooked i was like this isn't the one that trips him up surely this <laughs> isn't the one that trips him up um so uh in every episode we have a question from the most recent guest in this case it was joe 
and uh, there's a reason I keep that bit off stream so people can't cheat because you've watched at least one of these back. So Joe wasn't very friendly in his question. A nice one, Joe. Yeah. Um, what club did Leeds United sign Bruno Ribeiro from? Oh my goodness. Portuguese side. It wasn't Benfica. It wasn't Porto. I'll give you a slight hint because this is genuinely horrendous as a question. Um, and I know Joe will be watching back. I wish I had the brain to come up with these ones. Um, it was a club that I don't know if I'd heard of before. But I think you're right the, with Portugal. Does the name begin with a P? No. Or an F? No. No. Uh, Boa Vista. It's not Boa Vista. It's Vitoria Setubal. I've never got that in a million years. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have got that either. No. Um, slightly nicer one. Who was Leeds United's most recent signing? Um, Connor Roberts on loan. Connor Roberts on loan from Burnley. And a slightly less positive one here. Uh, who knocked the club out of the Carabao Cup this season? The Carabao Cup. So. Uh... Crikey. I also completely forgot this. I've forgotten it. The Carabao Cup. Where, so the, the the FA Cup was Chelsea. Yep. The Carabao Cup. I can't even bloody remember who we played in the Carabao Cup. I probably I we went played... as well. That's the worst thing. <laughs> uh, if it helps, it was an away tie and we lost on penalties. That doesn't help. It doesn't help. Uh, Fulham? I think that might have been last season or the one before. It was Salford. Bloody hell it was, wasn't it? Yeah, I should, absolutely I should have remembered remember that, that one as well. Uh, yeah, it's completely... I, I try and extinguish any, any negative results. All of the like losses, that, yeah. especially Especially a, t a team that's owned by um, all the scummers and that. So, yeah, completely forgot about that. A bit gutted about that. So this one you might get. Uh, which player has the most minutes for the Whites this season? I'm gonna. I think it might be Melier, but I know he missed a couple of games through suspension. Then again, it might be Ampadu. I don't think Ampadu's missed a game this year, even in the cup. Archie could be a shout as well. I'm going to go with Ampadu. You're right. The reason I went with that question is I thought I'd trick question it so people will automatically go, it's got to be the goalkeeper because they're never subbed off, but neither is Ampadu, and he's played all the time. Yeah. So, final was, question. Was, was Melier second? Melier was second, yeah. yeah. I can't remember where Gray was, but he was in the area. He it, has yeah, we must be up there somewhere. Yeah. Far too many minutes for a 17-year-old. <laughs> Um, so final question of this round, this isn't just worth the one point. It's got okay. multiple answers to it. If you get all of them, you mm -hmm. get five bonus points, bringing you up to potentially 15 for the round. Uh, if you don't, then you are for some reason that's gone a little bit wrong. Uh, for some reason uh, that that's not words. Um, yeah. If you don't, you get one for each answer that you do get correct. Okay. I'm out to use a pen and paper, Anna. You are. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, which Leeds United players won awards at the EFL Awards with the award names, including Team of the Year? Okay. Uh, Apprentice and Young Player of the Year was Archie Gray. Mm -hmm. um, Championship Player of the Year was Crescentio Somerville. Mm -hmm. That's three. And then the other three were all Team of the Year, which was Jorginho Ruta, Ampadu and Cree. Yeah, that's five bonus points. Very, very nice start. You only got two wrong in that round, giving you 13 out of 15. 13, that's not a bad start, Joe. I'll you, take are, that. you are well en route to that 20 that was... Was it 20 or 30? 30. 30. Target. It yeah, was 30. 30. You're well en route to the 30 that was the target with that, to be fair. Good and stuff. Good stuff. I think compared to... So, Joe, last week, 
Uh, got six in the first round. Uh, Gary Brannan got 12. Evie full marked it, but we're just we're ignoring Evie at this point because Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. And uh, your current target, Mr. Joe Wayman, also got 13. Oof, so the fight is close. firmly on right now. Yeah. But that brings us nicely on to the ups and downs round, which is a basic higher or lower. I will give you a first stat. And then I'll give you 10 more. Just let me know if they're higher or lower than the most recent stat that I've told you. Go so, for it. How many senior appearances did Jorginho Rutter have in his career before coming to Leeds United? This was 61. Okay. That's the number that we're sort of building up from. Okay. And uh, Rutter's had a pretty good career so far at Leeds United. Has he had more or less than 61 appearances for Leeds? Less. Less. He's at 58. So it was a, lo a lot tighter than I thought it would be. Yeah, and me. Yeah, I thought it was substantially less, actually. I, I thought, based on this season, he's had 40-ish, 40-odd. And I didn't think he'd played 17 times or maybe just fifth, around about 15 times in the Premier League. I didn't reason to realise he played that much, to be fair. Yeah, it's it's all competitions, which means that like you've got a, a bit of FA Cup, a bit of Carabao Cup in there as well. Got a good I think... point. I think something that definitely helped was that towards the end of last season, he was just a sort of big Sam got bored and went, now you can have five minutes. It's fine. Go on. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, 58 is still higher than I expected, though. And uh, that, that's a nice big number, and we've won a lot of those matches. But how many wins does Ilan Melier have at Leeds United? More or less than 58? More. It is more. It's 70, which is... Honestly, more than I thought it would be, considering it was one good Premier League season, the end of our championship promotion season, two, let's be honest, shit years in the Premier League. Yeah. And then yeah. this season. But I guess this season's done a lot of work for him. That's right. Yeah. So, uh, 70 wins. A lot of those wins. wins have come under Daniel Farker. What's Daniel Farker's win percentage? Is it higher or lower than 70%? At, at Leeds or? At ever? Leeds, not ever. At least. So we've played 43. This is still all competitions as well. Ah, right. Okay. Um, I'm going to say it's higher. Uh, hang on. Hang on a minute. How many games have we won this year? 20, 30, about 30. No, Give or take that something like that. Yeah. Um, 30 out of 46 is about 67, 70%. Plus, we won a few cup games and lost one in... I'm going to say it's around about 70%, but I'm going to say it's slightly higher. Only ever so. Only ever so. It is lower. It's 59%. Uh -huh. 59? That's not even that good. Oh, draws. I didn't, I didn't take into account for draws, have I? No. Were you going to say that's not even that good? Not that great. It's one of the highest that like any Leeds manager's ever had. I'll yeah. just I'll, I've, I, I've got I, I've got I, to double check this now. I didn't think that one through to be fair. Fifty nine percent. I expected it to be higher than that. I think, but then you threw me with the cup games as well. So I thought every game had to be either won or lost, and I didn't just didn't even consider draws. Oh uh, yeah, because the like you've got Plymouth, which went to a replay, which I yeah also fair enough forgot. I don't know how the Salford match would have gone down, but either way, it's not a win. Um. Yeah, looking by win percentages of all of our like long term managers, it looks like he's had Dyer. the best win percentage. Is it really? Uh, we do have the fun fact of Nigel Gibbs, who took over as caretaker from Brian McDermott for one match, has a hundred percent win rate. Which <laughs> fair enough to him. Uh, yeah, well, oh, small, uh, small, small victory. You got, you got yeah. to take it. Yeah. So, so we're at fifty nine uh, now. We're at 59, which was Daniel Farker's win percentage. And uh, when we win, if we can score, it tends to be like quite happy, quite comfy. What's our goal difference so far this season, more or less than 59? It's less than 59. It's about 44-ish, I think, at the moment. Very close. 42. Oh, is it? 42. But it's yeah. definitely less. Yeah. Uh, recent uh, unfortunate news that we got was Stuart Dallas's retirement from football. Uh, how many goals did he score for Leeds United? More or less than 42? 
Less than 42. Less than 42. He scored 28 at Leeds. And I think that included two in the derby match that we don't like to speak of anymore. <laughs> but, he was pretty much the only person who turned up for that one. Yeah, my, I th- I've, I've got a fairly depressing story from that match because I went out to a seven-a-side game that night and we were 1-0 up in the match and it was like, oh, brilliant, 2-0 on aggregate. Fantastic, it's all going really well. And then... I was playing in net and someone was watching behind the goal and at half time I turned to him and was just like, Are we still winning? And he just sort of just went <laughs> No. That, Great. It's almost the Voldemort of the Leeds results. Um certainly recent history. We don't speak of it the way we try no, we, to. No, we, we we don't enjoy it very much. Uh so Stuart Dallas's goals for Leeds United are twenty eight. Uh yeah. Unfortunately, not played that much football either this season or last season or the season before because of injury. Someone else that hasn't played that much is Charlie Cresswell. What are his total appearances at Leeds United? First team appearances. First team appearances, not counting 21s and all competitions still. It's less than 28. More or less than 28. Less. Less than 28, yeah. Yeah, it's 14, which... Was a lot less than I thought that'd be. To be honest, I thought he got more like bit part minutes and subs and stuff like that. But yeah, and no, I think that sounds about right for me. To be fair, about yeah, yeah. We have uh, fourteen uh, appearances for Charlie Cresswell. Someone's got yeah. a lot more minutes than him. That is Georginia Ruter. Uh, more or less assists for Ruter than fourteen. Still all competitions, and your mic has gone. Can't hear you. Sorry, can you hear me now? I can hear you now. There we go. Sorry, I, I got a call coming through. With, uh, That's okay. That's fine. It's all good. Um, I think it is slightly more than 14. I think it's maybe 15. It's 17 in all competitions. 17. I think it's 15 in the league. But I just I, I went all competitions just to be like, that's a little bit clearer. That's yeah. It's not as... Um, so, someone else that was highly regarded in his time at Leeds United and did very, very well was uh, Eddie Gray. Yep. Lots and lots of appearances. Did he have more or less appearances off the bench than Jorginho Ruter had assists? 17. I reckon he had. He must have had him. There must have been times when they brought him back from injury and that. But I know he, I know he was almost first name on the team sheet as well, from what I understand. Obviously, I wasn't about in them days, but... 17 off the bench, more or less over. Did he have something like 400 appearance, 450 odd appearances or something for us in total? I am going to quickly check that now just to make sure that I'm not going to give you the wrong numbers. It's just taking a little while to load because it's trying to load thousands of players. Uh, but yeah, it's it's firmly in the hundreds for total appearances. Yeah, I think, I think it was more than 17 off the bench. It was more than 17. It was 18. <laughs> Christ, is that all? Yeah, because it was the days of you only get one sub. Right. So it, so it was very like, I mean, you, you're just going to start if you're Eddie Gray then. Even yeah, if you've that's been it. Quite a lot. Uh, 18, yeah. Eddie, having 18 appearances off the bench. Uh-huh. Uh, lots of those will have been wins because of the era that it was. Um, yeah. Going down the family tree, we've got Archie Gray. How many games oh. has he won for Leeds United? More or less than 18? I think it more than 18 than this season alone. It's more than... He's only played this season anyway. Yeah, uh, yeah. But yeah, yeah. It's uh, 28. 28, yeah. So, Which... I, sorry, I thought you might have been including like friendlies and stuff because he went out to no. Australia, didn't he? No, it's all good. It's, it's just like actual competition rather than think, friendlies yeah, no, and stuff, stuff. And then we've got another fine, young, strapping lad, widely renowned for his Yorkshire values and... The way that he inspires everyone around him, arguably more than Archie Gray, who had his 28 games won. Was Neil Warnock's win percentage at Leeds higher or lower than 28%? Good God. Now we're looking back. Um, Neil Warnock under Leeds. We were we were mid-table, mid-lower table championship fodder back then. Um 28% win. Did he win one in four? Maybe one in four. I reckon it's. I reckon it's going to be close. I reckon this is going to be quite close. I reckon he probably was just above 28 percent. He was. He was thirty six percent. Roughly one in three games under Warnock, we ended up winning. Yeah, not too bad. I didn't Which, mind Warnock actually. To be fair, I was going to say it probably didn't feel like that at the time, but there we go. It's fine. So that round is done. 
with nine out of ten. That's nine out of ten. That is up at twenty-two, which is very nice for your little tracker against uh, Joe. Yeah, he got six in that round, so you're currently a little bit ahead. Oh, nice. Which is which is quite nice. We take that, not a problem at all. But this is where we potentially get into some problems. The long 100%. list. But before we do dive fully into the long list, I'm just going to quickly remind anyone watching at home, that's where the camera is now. I've got two of them, so I get lost. <laughs> um, uh, I would hugely appreciate if you could uh, donate to Prostate Cancer UK. All of the revenue from this video and uh, channel memberships at the moment are going to Prostate Cancer UK just because it's a really important cause. It's quite close to me after my granddad passed away last year. He won his fight with prostate cancer because of the great work of Prostate Cancer UK. So I can personally like vouch for how like impactful it can be to people. So if you've got a couple of square quid, square quid, spare quid, uh, the link will be in the description below and it'd be hugely appreciated if you could. Cheers. So round three, the long list. Let's do this. 15 points up for grabs. You've got three lives. You use up your lives if you have a wrong answer, uh -huh. a repetition, or a, like, you fluff about for, like, a whole two minutes and don't have any guesses, just okay, to no. make sure that things keep moving a little bit. What happens if I lose all my lives? The game's Gone. over. No more guesses. Right, okay. So that will, that will be your score, Bosh. Oh, yeah. Uh, your specialist subject was uh, wonderfully vague. It was the Monk Bielsa era onwards, my memory is dog crap, which <laughs> I told you that I'd kept in mind. <laughs> um, Accurate. So do you have any rough guesses of what this could end up as? No idea. Honestly, this is... Yeah, it's... I've I've specifically targeted the well I know you've been watching closely this season and you've mentioned your memory being bad so I'm not going to be too mean on there. <laughs> We're talking teams that Leeds United have dropped points to this season. Jesus, there's 15 of these. Uh I will count them. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 but if you get them all correct you get 15 marks. Okay. Let's do this. Are you ready for me? I, I, I don't know. You said that so confidently that I can't tell anymore. Let's go. Start at the bottom. Um, Rotherham. Uh, we did. Yep. On the list. Field. Also on the list. Chef Wednesday. Chef Wednesday. Um, Watford. Are on the list. Yep. Um... Blackburn. Depressingly so, yep. I'm so sorry uh, for my surname. Let me just write, write these down just so I keep up. Blackburn. Red. Rob. Rum. And Hoods. Um, West Bromwich Albion. Are uh, indeed on the list, yep. Um... Um, let's... six out of 14 so far. Six out of 14. Let's think who else have we got up there? Southampton are on the list. Yep, Sunderland, absolutely. Did we drop points versus? No, I don't think we did. I can't bloody remember the results. Coventry. We did drop points too. Yep. Um, uh, Stork. Are on the list. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's ten out of fourteen. There's four other teams who've dropped teams drop points to this season. Um, um Hull are on the list. Three to go. 
Um, uh, it's horrible trying to remember this. Because uh, it's all stuff that you've tried to block out of your memory. So you're yeah, like, we've beat, I don't want to remember the trip to blank. Yeah, we beat Norwich both times. We beat Leicester both times. We beat Ipswich both times. Um, Saints have already said. Coventry have said. West Brom have said. Birmingham City. Is that a guess? I seem to remember drawing early on in the year. Oh, no, they, oh, they, they were, yeah, we drew with them early on in the year, didn't we? We did. Yep. Two to go. Preston. Preston. One left. That fun, fun red card for Ilan Melier. I was there uh, on Boxing Day. Um, one more. Come on. Uh, beat Millwall both side times. Um, I can only. I've still got three lives, Anna, so I can guess three teams, can I, without actually being out? You can, yes. You won't like screw yourself over by guessing right now. I don't think it's right, but I'm going to say Plymouth. We did play them a hell of a lot, but the one time we did draw against them was in, in the, the FA Cup, so we didn't drop points to them. Bells. Um... Right, I'm... I'm com Oh! No, we beat Borough. We're still yet to play them. Uh, the second time we beat Borough. Um, I can't think of any other teams. Who else is in the league? I've literally named every team in the league pretty much now. And there must be there's one other team that I can't think of that's in the league. Um yeah. that, that I can't think of. Um This is worth two more two marks to me as well, because it's a full full house, isn't it? Oh yes. This is the one that decides is it a score, or is it another score? That was the stupidest Blackburn. thing I've ever said. Um, I might have to, I might have to knock here. I'm, 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 I'm a dithering a bit, Anna. Uh, I'll give you another fifteen seconds on your second life. Welsh team, one of the Welsh teams. Got two lives, Anna. I'll go with Cardiff. You can't record if you've done it within the 15 seconds and you get in there. Of course, that it's Cardiff. <laughs> full marks on that round. Fair enough. I honestly thought that that was slipping away towards the end, but. So did I. That is incredibly impressive. How are we feeling on the final result then? Um, I'm not going to show you the leaderboard yet, but. I reckon What's I got. Pro I, reckon I did better than expected. I reckon I've beaten women anyway. I reckon I've probably up and around Germany, maybe mid th early thirties, maybe thirty three, thirty two. Thirty three ish, thirty two ish. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, reckon I will be one second I'd whilst I that. get the leaderboard uh, uploaded to Streamyard because I have to do this as I'm speaking, which makes it an absolute pain in the ass. <laughs> so, the leaderboard, the current standings as we are in Ball's knowledge. For Prostate Cancer UK. Second place. You're in the oh, audience. Yes, I'll take that. 37 out of 40. That is 40. very nice. Oh, no. I'm gutted now that I got some of them early ones wrong, you know. I don't think anyone was ever getting Vittorio Sechibel. I'll be completely honest with you. That one wasn't. Jer's done me there, Annie. Jer's done me. I'll be having words with him, don't you? Worry. Is, is that going to be one of the grudge matches that I'm going to put together? That could work. Quite nicely. I've already oh. got Evie wanting a grudge match with uh, Just Joe. You're wanting <laughs> a grudge match with Joe. Maybe we do Perfect. tag team matches. This could be wild. Anyway. Um, so, do you enjoy your time on Ball's Knowledge? Yeah, thanks for getting me on, Joe. Anytime, more than happy to uh, to help out. And, and, and uh, you know, it's always good to test test your general knowledge and, and stuff that you can remember. I'm really surprised, actually, that I remember that much because, as I said, my, my memory is dog crap. Um, hence the reason why I went for a more 
sort of recent era when you said to, to do the, 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 the long list. But no, really enjoyed it. It's a really good quiz, well put together. Uh, and I look yeah. forward to seeing how, how other people do through, as the weeks go on. In the coming weeks, I, the plans are including Lockie, Andrea. I feel like the top of that table is going to get packed. And I feel oh, like get condensed, yeah. there is a very open invite if Joe or Joe or Gary want to come back and try and improve their score. That's also completely fine. I oh, know Joe's anyway. not allowed back. I've beaten him now. That's that's it. We're done. <laughs> that's another grudge match. We're having it. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you haven't, pop a like on the video. It'll help to just sort of get it pushed out a little bit. Subscribe if you aren't yet. You could even become a channel member. All of that revenue is currently going towards Prostate Cancer UK, so that'd be massively appreciated. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you later. Cheers. And this is the bit where I just keep it recording for a minute just to sort of... Oh, no. <laughs> what have you done there? I don't know. The camera's gone. <laughs>